Welcome back to A Party Life. Today, I wanted to share with you guys our uh, rhythm. So we don't have a strict schedule, but we do create rhythms. I am usually totally against a schedule because I just have a really hard time sticking to it. And if I have like eight to nine, we do this, nine to 10, we do this, 10 to 12, we do this. It just totally stresses me out. I'm like apparently anti a strict schedule. However, I do need rhythms. I do need a flow. And I know the kids need that, this uh, consistency and, um, you know, just knowing what to expect, what comes next. And so I've realized, and my husband's constantly reminding me that <laughs> that structure is really good and good for the children. So I do come under that. And um, the way that I've kind of meshed the two, kind of my real free go with the flow, with having some you know structure is the the rhythm that we've created so i wanted to share that with you guys today so i do have a planner that i use and i've used this differently over the years um how i'm using it this year is and this is just so cheap from walmart it was just the basic it has a monthly layout and then a weekly layout so um for example this one's totally empty but there's this view so it's got the month and then you've got the days like this and I love it. It's got a ton of space to write. And so I'm going to turn to actually our September and I'm going to show you one that I actually have written out. So I have it color coordinated. So what I'm going to share with you is not what we use, uh, but how I place things. And so for example, um, we have Mondays and Wednesdays are our, our, our math days. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays are our language arts and reading days. Now, this doesn't mean we don't do those other subjects on other days, but it really helps to have an intentional focus of Mondays. It's all math. We will do lessons. We will do fun math games. We will have our shows or cartoons or documentaries or whatever encompassing the concepts and ideas of math. And Math is in cooking and in so many other things. I mean, life is not subject, you know, uh, put in like these little blocks of different subjects. It all intertwines. But um, we do have certain lessons and things that we are using. Um, in the other video I made, I talked about some of the things we use. I recently came across allinonehomeschool.com. And I believe it's called, that's the website, but it's called Easy Peasy Homeschooling. And they have so many different things. They have Hebrew um, for like high school or even adults. I'm planning on taking that course um, to learn Hebrew. And they have, they have from preschool, they have reading, learning to read um, phonetically as well as sight words, using sight words. They have from kindergarten to high school, all the subjects, science, history, math language, reading, they have music. Um, I don't know if I already said history, they have history. Just so many things. It's absolutely a robust, amazing curriculum and it's completely free. I, I kid you not. I'm still, like I said, just kind of blown away. I'm super excited about it. We just started using it. So I do plan on making a, an entire video about how I use the curriculum and just showing you guys it because it's so incredible. And being in a trailer, I really needed some online things. And so what I love about this is it's an online Charlotte Mason style Christian curriculum. And then they have worksheets and they have games. You go to another website. Here I am talking all about the curriculum. I'll save that for later. It's amazing. But anyway, so back to our, our schedule, what we're doing. So Mondays, math days, Wednesdays, math days, Tuesday, Thursday, th Tuesday, Thursdays are language and reading. And so that's what we're focused on on those days. We're doing our read alouds. We're doing writing. We're writing letters to friends. We are um, doing copy work. We're doing our language and reading actual lessons from our core that we use. Um, but we're sitting down with our books and just exploring what is in those and finding things that interest the kids. Um, th those are just, it, it's really easy to break them up. So each day, it's just a really simple focus point. And then we have so much time to spin off of that. And um, that's what's excite exciting to me. And it excites the kids. And then they have a ton of free play time, a ton of boredom time to sit and think and ponder and 
make up a game or create something or whatever. I mean, they're just, it's an, it's amazing. I mean, if you think of inventors, they didn't have someone say, here, come and invent this. It was what is needed around me, what would benefit something that we're already doing that maybe would make it more effective or more productive or just help or create beauty to a space. Um, we need that blank space time to really be thinking and pondering what to what could what we could create and bring and um and so I, I allow a lot of space and time for that for my kids as well um so fridays are our uh nature schooling days we have a group we meet with and we're going to be using the curriculum um it is called exploring nature with children it is the, it's focused so each week you have a focus point so the first one is um, seed dispersal. So, um, talking about how seeds disperse themselves or, you know, whether it's they attach to animals or they drop and pollinate themselves or they, um, just the different ways. And it has, the curriculum has the information. So you can just like read through it and know what to do on your nature walk, what you're looking for, the information. Um, I'm learning new things. Like it's so cool. And then it has activities, there's a book list, um, there's a piece of art and a poem that goes each week as well. So we're meeting with a group, uh, just a small group of friends, and doing that together on Fridays. And you meet at the same place each week so that you can see the environment change seasonally, which is also really beneficial. Um, so we're doing that on Fridays, and then we also are doing art on Fridays. The... Um, there's lots of different things we can use for art, but that curriculum I was talking about does have an art focused uh, course, <clears throat> excuse me. And so, yeah, it's really cool. We're gonna be doing that on Fridays and it's five to 10 minute lessons. Like it's so, so short and sweet. Uh, that is how we do our rhythm um, on a daily basis. Um, I can give kind of a quick example of what it would look like. We would, well, I wake up and I have my Bible time and my coffee before the kids wake up. And then um, when the kids wake up, they roll out of bed, they want breakfast right away. So I'll make them breakfast. Then they'll go outside and play and have until nine o'clock. And nine o'clock, well, they also have chores. So they've got chickens and um, rabbits and cows and sheep to feed. My son helps my mother-in-law with those animals and then the chickens and rabbits are ours. And so, we feed the animals and give them water and take care of morning chores as well as that free play time. And then at nine o'clock we start school. So I call them in and we'll start school together. Um, my I ideal is to be starting in the Bible every day and to pray before we start our school day, but we don't always do that. That's something I want to get better about is making sure that's where we begin with no matter what. Um, and so there is a Bible uh, curriculum, I guess you would say, with that Easy Peasy Homeschool that we're starting. And they want to start with the poetical books, Old Testament um, poetical books. And so we'll be reading out of the Psalms and doing that every day. So we start with the Bible. I realize I keep tapping it over here because this is what we use, um, is the Adventure Bible. And so we start with that. And then we move on to, depending on the day, if it's Monday, we'll be doing our math. And so uh, we do our lesson and that takes 15 minutes tops. Um, I will use, or we'll do um, earth science on those days as well, uh, depending on how the day is going, depending on the moods and where even the math lesson takes us. Uh, we use games and we use musical multiplication from the good and the beautiful. They have songs we listen to and for memorization. And so we'll work on that. Uh, there's little flashcards the kids like to quiz each other on and play with. We have a, like I said, we have math games. So we might dive into one of the games. We kind of see where it takes us. So if it kind of comes to a close, there's not anything expanding from that, or I haven't planned any expansion from that. Um, we'll do our earth science. And also, like I said, that takes us somewhere. We, depending on what we're doing in the lesson, it sparks something either for me or for the kids. And then we just go down this rabbit trail. And it's so cool because it doesn't necessarily have to stay on the one subject. We could, um, one day we were looking at maps and 
um, coloring in like the oceans and the continents. Um, one time it was coloring mountains and deserts. And then all of a sudden my son wanted to know where are coral reefs at? So then we looked up that and printed out the map with the shading of coral reefs. And then of course, coral reefs led to let's look up coral reefs and let's look at the pictures of the different animals and um, where they live and what they need to survive. And it kind of just continued down a rabbit trail. And that's what's exciting. That's the best part is, and that's the thing is you could choose to close that off and shut that down. Or because if you're trying to, we got to stay on this thing we're doing, it just kind of kills the joy. Instead of saying, here's where we began and here's where they took it. And I'm going on that trail with them. We are going down that road and we are going to explore and seek and find. And it's just incredible. Um, the kids really do want to learn and they just want to have a part in their learning, you know? So anyways, that's kind of, that's what our day looks like. Um, we've got snack time. We watch TV shows, cartoons. Um, I do keep them educational and kind of themed. And then we have lunch and pretty much by lunch, we're done with our homeschooling. If I do feel like, well, we haven't really had like time to write today or we haven't had enough reading time or whatever, um, throughout the day, I will call them back and say, we're going to spend time reading or we're going to do our read aloud now while they play with Play-Doh or blocks or, uh, or Spielgeben wood set we have that I just love. Uh, we'll just do different things like that. Um, and, or an activity, a science experiment, you know, something fun and do that together. But then aside from that, we have a lot of go play outside, play in your room, do, you know, just play, just do whatever it is that they're wanting to do. And I'm not structuring that or telling them how to play or anything like that. And then um, we have dinner and still more free play. We do family movie nights or themed things. Um, and at night we will be doing, we have been doing it for summer because it stays light so late. But um, I my plan is as it's darker a lot earlier and we're inside of a trailer, we will have more evening time to spend doing uh, our history read aloud or just some fun books, you know, just picture book, fun story books uh, all together while the kids are in bed getting ready to go to sleep. I can just read to them because I really do like doing that. And night times are great. Kind of just close out the day together. Still learning. Still, you know, school's not just from 8 to 2. Like, it's a from the time you get up till when you go to bed and you can you know, piece together things all throughout the day. And I don't want them to just think that school ends at a certain time and that they're not learning throughout all their activities and things they're doing. So we do have extracurricular things. We have Kung Fu. Um, and actually that's all we have at the moment. We were doing piano, but we're not at, at this time. So we have those throughout our days as well. We do play dates um, field trips. We try to do two of those a month with other homeschooling friends or even friends who aren't homeschooled if it works time-wise, you know, if they're not in school. Um, so that is how our rhythm goes. I hope that that's helpful. If you have questions, let me know in the comments and we will see you next time. Bye!